Good morning, guys. It's another vlog. So it's Friday, the 15th of March, and I'm taking another short lift. I'm gonna take a weekend away to Pretoria. And this weekend, we're going to our very first NBA game. Guys, the child in me is excited to say the least. So yeah, um, as you guys may or may not know, the BAL, which is the NBA Africa League, is now in its final legs. Oh guys, look, sun kissed. Anyways, I digress. Um, yeah, they're having the Kalahari Conference. This is the first time ever they're having it, which means there's gonna be a leg in SA. So there's gonna be four legs in total. There's SA first, then there's Dakar, Senegal, then there's Cairo, Egypt, and then the finals are in Kigali, Rwanda. So yeah, I'm getting to attend the games for the first time. This is season four. I'm so excited. Um, one of my friends is also officiating. Yay, go Dot! Which is also, I'm so proud of her. And I might be following in her footsteps because, yeah, I can't be playing anymore. My body's not liking it. So I'm um, working on towards becoming a ref. So we'll see. And she's my mentor for that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, guys, we're going to go and watch a basketball game. So I'm spending the weekend in Pretoria. I might see my friends, I'm not sure, as well, to see if we can just pop in. Because, yeah, Melissa and is always busy, so we'll see. But she was supposed to come watch the games with me, but they sold out. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So we'll see. So we'll see if we can arrange to meet each other anyways. So yeah, guys, let's move. Oh, and by the way, Flight Connect now does a stop in Pretoria. I don't know this, which works out great for me because it's dropping us off at Mendlin, which is, I think, almost like five minutes from where I'm supposed to be staying. So, anyways, let's go. hi guys welcome back so i'm at my airbnb now right um i got to pretoria at around 11 yeah quarter past 11. um so fun fact flight connect now has two drop-offs one in menlin park the shopping mall in pretoria and oratambo so it made it so much easier for this trip because i'm coming to, i'm staying in pretoria i'm not going to santa like i always do so that was very helpful so i came straight to menlin and then i met up with my friend dot she is officiating at the ball games and she's staying at a at the whole well their apartments it's called the capital near it's like literally down the road from the sun arena where the games are being held makes sense and funny enough i actually wanted to get an airbnb in the same block of apartments but then it, it was too it got booked before i could book it so yeah, but yeah, so we then had lunch because my check-in was only 3 p.m. here. So yeah, I went to hang out with her since, yeah, from like about 11 until 3, we were together. So yeah, now I've just gone to the Airbnb. I've unpacked as much as I can. Like what I need to unpack. Um, I'll show you guys around just now, but yeah tonight i'm gonna go hang out with my cousin who i've not seen in almost 15 years and i'm so excited because like we were inseparable when we were kids and then life life and we have they moved to the uk when we were in high school and they moved to, they moved back to africa they moved to south africa and we just not, never really saw each other again but we kept in touch like on socials and stuff so 
I'm gonna see her today and I'm so excited. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then yeah, chill. So that's, I'm gonna chill for now. I might take a nap, I'm not sure. Also, my watch is charging. I'm so used to doing this now. So it's about quarter to four now. No, well, no, four o'clock. So I'm gonna take a nap and then I'll shower to get ready to go out. She said we should be meeting around seven. So we're gonna have dinner first and then we're gonna go hang out with some of her friends. So yeah, that's, that's about me for today. You've already seen me. I took a clip of the capital, like where I was. And it's such a pretty little area. Not the capital, Menlin, Maine. It's called Menlin, Maine. That's across from, from the Sun Arena. So yeah, you, I'm sure you've seen that by now. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys around the Airbnb now. And then, yeah, I'll put some rest. So, welcome to our Airbnb. So, this is the little kitchenette chill area. There's a gas hob, which is great because low shading. And that. So, I'll start with this side. So, yeah, there's a mini bar fridge. So, this is the single bedroom. I actually didn't even know that this unit has two places, but that's my suitcase. So it has a single bed and a cabinet and stuff. So this is, I'll say bedroom one. I don't know if I count this bedroom, but yeah, it's the low lounge area. And then there's a TV with DSTV. And this is the main bed, bedroom, quote unquote. So it's a double bed and that's it. And then this is the bathroom. So it's a shower and then cute little toilet situation here and that's about it guys it's a very compact little unit i like it i just didn't expect it to have two bedrooms but anyways for the price it, it works i've linked the airbnb down below it's in the description box so yeah guys now let me take a nap and get some rest hi guys so i'm back home it's like half 11 i'm in my bed i've done my skincare and stuff so yeah so i forgot to record me leaving the house to go meet my cousin for dinner and stuff but by now you've seen clips of the restaurant we went to and stuff and our drinks and our food and you've also seen clips of the pictures we took and stuff right yeah so we went to a place called la parada which is in menlin main central square yeah and it was very nice and i enjoyed my dinner i had lamb with roast potatoes and my cousin had ribeye with potatoes as well but guys i already bought beef so i was just saying i'm not gonna have beef because it won't taste the same but anyways, but all in all, I really enjoyed the food. And then for dessert, I had baked vanilla cheesecake. And she had marble pudding. And we shared that because we both couldn't decide what we wanted. So we said, you get something I want and that, and we'll share. Um, Hands down, I enjoyed the marble pudding more than I enjoyed the cheesecake. But I'm biased because I just love marble pudding. So, yeah. But all in all, it was so great catching up after so long. Like, I had so much fun. And I'm hoping that we're going to keep in touch and do this more often. But, yeah. Day one in PTA has been good. Let's see what tomorrow will bring. Tomorrow's game day. Good morning. So, it's Saturday. And it's like mid-morning. It's like 12. I took my time to get up and stuff today because, yo, I was tired. So, I'm going to head off to... I'm gonna take a shower, get ready, and then head off to Menlin, Maine to have lunch 
and then head off to the Sun Marina because I'm not sure what the food situation is like and I'm going to be there for a while so I was like let me get something sustainable to eat first ne? and then I'll go to the games so I was supposed to be there from like 32 and it's like 12.45 right now so but then they said there's a pre-show so but yeah no I'll definitely be there by 2.30 that because literally the venue is like 10 minutes from the house but it's like across the street from Menlin Main so if I get there by one and just grab lunch and then walk across I should still be fine so that's the plan so I'll get there in time for whatever like the entertainment whatever thing so yeah I'm excited so yeah let's get Ready, shower and all that good stuff. Also, if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Just give it a thought whilst I go shower. Bye. So I'm in the Uber right now. I'm heading to Linda's apartment and everything. Living the life in downtown CBD, Instagram worthy furniture, mm, plus green TV, more screen for the queen. Everything except it's quality and insurance. Right because now, Linda so cut back to save money. I made it on time. Oh God, I'm supposed to be getting there like Now days. she lives with her mom. Don't be so. like Linda. So switch to Suntam. Call 0860 444 or visit. So I've arrived at Melvin Main. This is it. Yo, the sun is sunning, guys. I wasn't ready. But yeah, so I'm just gonna head over to Clicks to get something. And then, ah, oh, found it. So yeah, I just need some pain meds. I'm out of pain meds. I'm having these headaches that are not making sense. So I'm gonna do that and then get some food. So, guys, um, I'm done with Clicks. I'm gonna head over to the Sun Arena now to check in and see what the food and entertainment zone thing is saying. Apparently things only start at four, but I'd like to get there. It's now quarter to three. So I'd rather get in now so that I don't get stuck into too much traffic and all that good stuff. And yeah, it's looking like it's quite busy outside. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. I feel like my inner child is screaming right now. Outside I'm calm and stuff, but yeah, inside, woo, guys doing somersault and all that stuff <laughs> but yeah let's go
Head coach of Best Rizzolawana, Jose Nato. Best make some noise one more time for Petro Tulawana. Head coach of Jersey number 23, Zachary Tulawana. And ladies and gentlemen, he's going to go to number two, Garcia Diana. The coach of Cape Town Tigers, Porsche Nguyenia. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, make some noise one more time for the Cape Town The pressure is getting worse. It's about time. Hey guys, so it is now quarter past eight. The other game has not finished yet, but I decided to leave because I also don't want to wait for there to be all traffic and I'm struggling to get an Uber. That's not me. 
so yeah but all in all guys it was a great evening cape town tigers won the game surprised us all but we loved it and i got to meet a few celebrities i was so happy um yeah so my inner child is so happy right now guys like feels nourished and happy so yeah i'm gonna go to Menlin Main now to get some food and then head home because I know if I order Uber Eats also that's just me wasting a delivery charge so we just get food here and then I'll go home one time and then yeah yeah guys I'm bored waiting for an Uber but this light makes my skin look good So I'm back home. Oh, you girls tired, but my heart is so full, guys. Like, I can't explain how I'm like happy deep inside. And I like, and I know it's like my inner child is happy. Like, I've always wanted to go and watch a basketball game, like live with like professionals playing, right? In Canada, I came very close, but it was like global gem. So. I feel like it didn't give me that same vibe because they were under 23s and in my brain i think i just i logic it and it's it's kids so yeah but these guys because it's like the ball and it's like the nba africa league it just felt very big and it was also giving because there were celebrities there and also guys i don't know if it's just me south african celebrities some of them rate themselves some of them don't it was just very weird because First of all, I had a very good seat because I was basically quarter to courtside, okay? I wanted to get a courtside ticket, but then they ran out before I couldn't. And also the fact that I could afford a courtside ticket was also very healing for me. But I digress. There were a lot of celebrities that were just in the crowd. So it made me feel like... <sighs> this is a bit weird. So... I don't know I don't know if I count this guy's celebrity, but he's... He's social media famous, but I feel like he's become famous actually. But Dr. Musa, I met Dr. Musa today. He's guys, he's lovely. Like this is exactly the way he, the vibe he gives off on Instagram is what he's like in person. It was, ooh. Um, DJ Oskido was there with his family, sitting also in the same level seats. I was just like, Mama, I made it. Um, who else came? Nadia Nakai was there. I took a picture. You'll see the picture. Pearl Tusi was also there. I took a picture with her. Casta Semenya was there. But she was in a bit of a mood. So I was like, mm, I'm not gonna ask. But yeah, but apparently she was there yesterday as well. And she was much friendlier yesterday. So I guess, yeah, maybe something happened. Celebrities are people too. So I was like, let me not encroach in people. But all in all, the game was actually such a vibe. And I feel like because I know some of the players, like I've watched them come up. That also gave it that, mm. but the team we expected to win did not win, which also just gave, it was giving. And they were basically neck and neck until the last, the typical thing about basketball, like if you give up, it will show in that final score. Mm. And also don't ask, underestimate the underdog, okay? Cape Town Tigers has lost all their games this week, but then they beat Peter de Luanda today. That was their first win. Pedro de Luanda was second on the log. They were like, between them and Fusrabat, it's, that's where the winner is coming from. So I was like, so you guys, you guys have been playing us this whole week, ne? Oh yes, that's also another celebrity. Now I'll just say a player. I met Sam Gelo, really. He was one of the top scorers this week, even though his team was losing, but my guy can play. And it also made me feel good about myself because my man looks tall on the court. But in the picture we took, I, I, I look like I can, you know, I can make it there. Yeah, I didn't feel like a midget today. And I wasn't wearing heels. So, <laughs> guys, those people who called me a midget, I'm not, you know, who you are. But anyways, guys, as you can see, I am, I'm very happy. Like, and I've not been this deeply inside happy in a very long time so it it feels very unfamiliar but i like it and i just hope 
I can continue it. Because especially after the week I've had, yo, child, I needed this. And I was just laughing at myself that I almost cancelled this trip. I'm so happy I didn't. And to those people who convinced me to take this trip, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. You know who you are. Shout out to you guys because yo, you carried me during this week. But yes, now it's just out digressing. But yes, it was a great day. Now I'm going to go take off this face. And chill for the rest of the evening. I have brunch tomorrow with Melissa. I am so excited. Because I haven't seen Melissa in a whole... <sighs> Guys, I have not seen Melissa since her wedding. In 2022. That's the last time I saw Melissa. Which is embarrassing. We keep in touch and there, but And we keep laughing at ourselves that every time... We are in each other's space, like country or nearby. We miss each other because it was just travel, travel, travel all over the place. So finally, we're making this happen. But anyways, hope you guys Saturday was as wholesome and full as mine. Bye! Good morning, guys. So it's Sunday morning and it's 11 o'clock. I'm just waiting for Melissa to come pick me up. We're going to go for brunch. I'm so excited. I haven't seen Melissa in, like I said, I think it's over a year now. Almost 18 months. Bad, bad, but I got friendships, right? So, yeah, we're going to go to brunch. I think we're going to Barnston. I'm not sure. You guys will see when we get there, right? But, yeah, so it's going to be a nice catch-up moment. And, yeah, let's see how this chill Sunday goes. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this vlog. I think I've been a bit more coherent with this vlog than I have in a while. So, yeah. Let's go, guys. So, good evening guys. It is now 11 p.m. Yeah, I know today was a vibe, but yo guys, what I miss me most is that, you know where the danger is? There. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Um, We got to our brunch place, which is social on Main, and it was lit, lit, lit. But also, I couldn't vlog. One, because it was loud. Two, because we were just having too much fun. And also, there was a lot of music that would just get me copywritten. That I was just like, eh, I ain't got time. So, yeah, I then just didn't pick up my camera. Then when we went back to the house, I did take some clips, which you have seen by now. But, yeah, all in all, oh my gosh, I had so much fun. It was so amazing catching up with Melissa and Melusi. <laughs> Those two are... Yeah, I know Mel Squid is a problem, but we move. Um, I got home like around six and I just crashed. Cause I think I was tired from the morning and I just didn't really know how tired I was until I got home. So I just got home, took a shower and then just. So yeah, now it's 11 and luckily I had some food in the fridge. That's what I just grabbed to eat now and I'm going straight bed. Yeah, I just had to wake up and plan my movement for tomorrow because i have to be at our tumble by latest 12. so luckily i'm not that far from the airport so i'm just gonna take a uber in the morning straight to the airport and yeah this weekend was wholesome and lovely and full of a lot of ketchups oh and today i met grace so i say grace but her name's cracker let me be and let me be nice i think you pronounce it cracker god forgive me but yes she's french but I met her on Twitter and she's like a little fashion person, fashion influencer slash. She's just a lovely Twitter person, but also we happen to have the same birthday. So we've always kind of like found that cool. But yeah, I was bringing her some like of the Vaseline cocoa butter oil that I use. She also wanted some, so I bought her some from Zim and stuff. And yeah, so that was interesting but yeah all in all guys my weekend was as you can see i'm happy i'm a happy chappy so yeah we're gonna head back home tomorrow it's a monday 
and you we all know and then, yeah so i'll see you in the morning guys good morning happy monday so yeah it's monday it is 10 past 10 and i'm getting ready to check out of my airbnb i'm gonna head over to Menlin, maine and i'm going to go buy a bottle of gin i saw this amarula gin that ooh, i really want to try so i'm gonna go do that and then head over to the airport so hopefully i'll get over to the airport by 11 30. that means i'll grab a takeaway lunch and head over to the bus the bus check-in is at quarter past 12. so I think I'm pretty good two hours since Minden Main is about like 10 minutes away from here. It's not that deep. So yeah, I was going to initially check out at 11, but I was like, let me just get out as early as possible and keep it moving. Ooh, my skin is skinny today. Ooh. Anyways, um, I hope you guys are good today and I hope you guys have a great week. Yeah. I am heading out. I've had a good weekend. Yeah, it was... For the week I've been through, it was a good one. So let's go back to the slug and grind and normal life. guys Ooh, guys it's hot yo 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 i know we live in a desert but wow anyways i'm back home it is seven o'clock we arrived at like six but then my cousins picked me up and then we had to go somewhere before we came home so that's why i'm not getting home at seven but i am home and i just want to rest and i want to take a shower but the keys was off, so I have to switch that on and wait for that to heat up. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Chill and wait for that water to heat up a bit. Yeah, I'm that person who even when it's hot, I'll have a hot shower. But yeah. So thank you for spending the weekend with me, guys. Let's do this again sometime. I don't know where that's gonna be, but another vlog, another trip. That's seems to be the trend that we're doing here but yeah i'm gonna try to do something where i'm actually in country because hey guys it's been a minute eh, since we just did something about town so we'll see but yeah guys subscribe like and comment and share with all your friends and make them join the rambler family but yeah guys bye